Howdy everyone, Cow, your average sim racer here. We're back in a set of Corsa. I've just finished getting the rain effects to work. Um, and I'm about to go out for my first drive and uh, see how it all looks. Now, I will put the links to all the stuff you need to get this working in the description down below. Um, I'm sure that if you've seen some of the other sim racing videos out there, Boosted Media and a few of the other guys, they've all been running this and uh, they've explained it as well. Um, but it is an absolute game changer. You know, just sitting here in the car and looking out, um, I can't wait to give this a go. Um, I, in my previous set of course of video, I um, did a little spruik on the Phoenix Mods uh, LA Canyons and the, especially the two-way traffic uh, mod that he provided, which is like a 40 kilometer track where you can have two-way traffic on canyon road driving mountainous roads awesome now um don't get me wrong i love uh my i racing and uh the competitive juices that come out and uh racing against other people but it's also good to jump back in uh, a set of courser and especially with the la canyons mod be able to cruise around and just drive open road driving now with the uh weather thanks to Sol 2.0 and I think it's custom shade of pack 1.73 I'm running now and also you need to become a, uh, a Patreon supporter of the guy that is developing the, the rain effects and uh, once you do that he'll send you some links that you put into your set of courses to get it all working um, but let's not talk any further let's go out and uh, have a drive now I am in the uh, McLaren F1 uh, GTR, and uh, we're about to go out and and uh, see what this all looks like now. Merely just the the lighting from the the sole, um, you know, when the when the screen lights up and the lightning hits, you know, oh, this immediately looks brilliant. The car still feels like it's fairly grippy, so I'm not sure how well the physics are working just yet, but just the visuals. I mean, you can see the way the rain is, you know, peeling up the windscreen the faster I go. I mean, that, that's just a cool effect. See that sign when I flew past it there? How good was that? Step out a little bit on me there. Yeah, that's like... oh, look at how, when you come up close behind a car, the, the spray just gets more intense, and I could barely see where I was going there. Now, I hope that the video comes through all right. Um, I did put a random sort of time on a set of Corsa uh, and it's given me a, a night run here but what better to show how awesome these combinations of mods are. There's that lighting, see how that lit up the area, beautiful. I want to take it a bit easy trying to get through here I think. Wait for some get a clear line, I can see a bit ahead and there's nothing coming. I can't even get out in a second at the moment. There's windy stuff. The McLaren's a six-speed H pattern. You can use the clutch and heel and toe if you want to shift the high revs. Such a fun car to drive. And this mod just makes it even better. Look at the veil in the front, that's pretty cool. And I just love how the rain is peeling off the car when you get caught in the spray. It's hard to say, yeah, it's just brilliant. I oh, know, let me know what you think, guys. But uh, I mean, it's looked impressive on boosts of media, so like 65 inch fucking screens, Jesus. But that's unrealistic for most of us, you know. 
I'm running 327 inch, I think, 75 FPS, one millisecond response, and this looks great. My computer is, oh, I'm in the process of upgrading. This is what, an i5 overclocked to 4400, I think, and uh, a 1080 in it as the graphics card. I've had to dial back the number of opponents uh, to 15, I think. I tried 20 before and I was just getting too much sort of lag in, in CPU uh, usage. Uh, this looks much better, but I am already just so impressed with how good this looks. See that, yeah. Oh, locked it up a little bit there. I think I'm going to find myself doing a lot of just cruising around in a, in a set of course. I can't see where the track, where the road's going. Big corner coming up. sort of is interacting with the windscreen is just looks looks real look, look at that you can barely see a thing in the spray a bit of a mischief there <laughs> those of you who don't know i've got an sst uh h pattern shifter It's a, it's a short throw, so it's, 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 it's not a bad little shifter. Um, well, oh, get out of the way. Oh, that was close. Um, but being a short throw, it's actually easy to um, sort of uh, miss, miss a gear. Oh, look. a bit ambitious there. But, it, oh, see that lightning? How cool did that look? Amazed at how good this looks. Oh, oh, it clipped me, it clipped me. Oh. What am I in a you know, $1.3 million car? I can't even see a thing in that spray. Oh, this is the big right hander coming up to you. Coming to a fast section, this section is going to be insane in this weather. Oh man. I don't know if you guys are getting the same thought, but this just looks amazing to me and so much fun. Just adds another dimension when you can play with weather. Now, I know that a couple of the other games have got decent sort of weather functionality, but what other game can you, uh, you know, drive in a thunderstorm at night around a 42 kilometer track, which is basically open road driving. And I mean, for a game that, you know, was made back in 2012, the modding community has just kept it alive with stuff like this. <laughs> but I hope nothing's coming. Uh, and I've just turned this into a all oh, okay. This car sounds magnificent too, I must say. Really see a thing. Yeah, 
now. I think the physics aren't quite there yet. The, the car's not really skating around like it probably should. I might have a look and see if there's some settings that maybe I've missed, but the, the visuals are absolutely stunning. And, you know, as I said to you guys, I'm not running the, the, <laughs> the biggest assistant. Look at that. Couldn't see with the room. Oh, I've blown up the gearbox. See what I mean with that short throw? Wow. Oh, well, I've blown up the gearbox, so that's about as far as we're going to go today. Uh, that's when I've shifted back to second and uh, absolutely destroyed it. But, as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing, very fun, and I'm fine that I'm going to spend probably a lot more time. Uh, just cruising around on this or getting the mates over and they can jump in the sim and rather than worry about trying to do lap times they can drive around this track in the weather with traffic that should be awesome anyway guys i might leave the video there uh, uh give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed uh the video but otherwise we'll see you next time and uh have fun out there cheers